Hi, I'm Shashi Baltudis from Adelaide, Australia, and this is the story of my father's 1980s Tudor Oyster. I first saw the watch in my father's drawer when I was about 16 years old. He called it a Rolex. I don't know if he said that because he thought Rolex was cooler than Tudor or if he didn't know what Tudor was. But either way, I wasn't very interested in it when I first saw it. The case was way too small and I didn't know anything about watches. But then about a year passed and I started reading sites like Hodinkee and I became a little bit interested in, in watches. So my father said, if you can fix it, you can keep it. So I sent the watch off to a small Italian jeweler and they said that it'll take some time, but we can fix it. So I sent it off and uh, some weeks passed and I realized that I had a trip, my first trip overseas to Latvia and Lithuania, the countries of my ethnic heritage. So it was really important to me that this watch be fixed before I could make it overseas. Came right down to the wire and the week before I was due to leave, they gave the watch back to me. I found that the watch wasn't keeping very good time. It was losing about five minutes a day, but that didn't matter to me so much. So anyway, I got to take it to Latvia and Lithuania and it comforted me in times when I was homesick. When I returned from overseas, uh, I still wore the watch. I wore it most days, uh, but as I became more into watches, I've, se I've seemed to wear it less and less as I've worn other watches in my growing collection. Uh, but it'll always have a place in my collection and I'll always keep it and cherish it. Thank you for listening.